Peloton has introduced a new feature called stacking, which allows you to build a playlist of classes to take back to back. One big drawback is that you cannot currently modify or create stacks from the iPhone or Android app. You can only play existing stacks you made elsewhere. Today, we will show you a trick to work around this, which works on both Androids and iPhones. First, if you haven't seen the new stack option in your app, just know that it only appears once you've created a stack from a bike, tread, or the Peloton website. To get started, open Safari or any other web browser on your phone. You'll then go to the member page on Peloton's website, which is members.onepeloton.com. Once you have the website open in your browser, you have full create and edit capabilities with Peloton stacks. If you plan to do this a lot, here's a quick trick. From the main Peloton members webpage in Safari, click on the share icon at the bottom center of the screen. Scroll down a little and find the add to home screen button. Once you click that, a new pop-up will appear that has a add button at the top right. Once you press that, you'll then find a second icon for Peloton on your home screen, but the new one will be called Peloton Digital. This is just a quick shortcut to auto open the member page on Peloton's website. You can now open the second icon and use that to build and modify your stacks. You would still wanna use your normal Peloton icon, which is the actual app to start your stacks. While we're here, let's go over how to actually build a stack and modify it. In Safari or your new shortcut icon, pick any class from the on-demand library. On the preview page, simply click the stack icon. The website will then go back to the main library page and alert you that a class was added to your stack. And at this point, the stack library icon will appear. Clicking the new icon allows you to view the current list of classes in your stack at any time. Once you are in the stack library, you can click the X in the top right to go back to the on-demand library where you can continue searching for classes for your stack. Note that at this time, you are only able to add on-demand classes to your stack and there is a maximum of 10 classes. If you need to make changes to your stack after adding classes, you can do so from the stack library. To start changing things, click the modify button at the top right. Now you can edit whatever you need. To rearrange the order of your classes, you'll want to press the icon at the far right of one of the classes, and while still holding down, drag it to the new place. You can also press the second icon to jump a class all the way to the top. To delete classes, click the delete button on the left of a class. After confirming the change, the class will be gone. Once all your edits are done, click done at the top right to save your changes to the stack. Once you are done creating your stack, you'll want to go back to the real Peloton iOS or Android app to use your stack. Note that you may need to change to the Programs tab and back to the Classes tab to get the stack section to appear. Click the stack icon at the top of the on-demand library and then you can start your stack. Peloton has said on social media that they do hope to add full stack editing capabilities to their apps in the future, but until then, hopefully this trick proves useful.